Hey guys, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to my Gamester81 Arcade channel. And it's no secret, Donkey Kong is my favorite arcade. However, my second favorite arcade game is Star Wars Arcade, released by Atari in 1983. And interesting enough, there was actually a kit release for the Star Wars Arcade, and that was the Empire Strikes Back. It's a little lesser known. I wanted to do a review over this game, kind of show you what it's about. It's still a really fun game. It uses the vector style graphics really well. It's got some awesome audio as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. The Empire Strikes Back was released by Atari in the arcades in 1985, two years after the initial release of the Star Wars arcade. There are three settings, you have easy, medium, and hard in this game, uh, and if you decide to do easy, you don't get any bonus at the end of all the stages, which there are four, and here's the first one where the object is to destroy the probe droids. You'll notice they're transmitting a signal, and it's important to destroy those signals before they reach the top of the screen. They're also going to be firing at you, and it's important to also hit those missiles before they end up hitting you. Because you only have about five hits in this game. Once you get hit all five times, the game's over. There are no continues. In the middle of the screen, you'll notice that that is the defector shield. And it's important that's kind of the time limit of the stage. Here we are in second stage, uh, and you have these walkers you're supposed to destroy. There's two ways of destroying these walkers. There's actually a, a kind of a red square you'll see. You can actually hit the square and destroy them that way. The fastest way is using tow cables. And you, can, you only have about four tow cables to use, so it's important to use them strategically so you can hit them. If you fly underneath the walkers without getting hit, you score some bonus points, but it's very tricky because it is not easy, so be careful doing that. The third stage is less, very similar to the original Star Wars arcade. You're in the Millennium Falcon this time rather than X-Wing, and you're destroy, destroying these TIE Fighters. If you destroy the TIE Fighters before they leave the screen, you stay focused on the Executor. And they're going to give you goals. In this case, you have, I have to destroy six TIE Fighters in a lot of time. When I do that, I reach a, I get a Jedi letter. In this case, I just got a J. And when you spell Jedi, it'll give you a temporary superpower, basically the force where you can destroy each enemy with one shot. The, the fourth and final stage is the asteroid belt. You're supposed to do, avoid these asteroids. And basically, you don't really necessarily destroy anything. And if once you get through it, you actually become a Jedi status as well and get more bonus points. The, overall, this is a great game. I really enjoy the music, the sound effects, the voiceovers. Uh, for the mid-80s, it's very advanced uh, using the vector style graphics. I'm playing this game on MAME, actually. But once I get my Star Wars Arcade working, which I hope to do very soon, I end up I plan on getting the conversion for this as well because I absolutely love this game. Thanks for watching, guys, and may the Force be with YouTube. Take care.